Uh, black yes. and uh, only 30 stocks in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, Home Depot one of them, and they had some pretty good quarterly results. Yeah, and oh. it's nice to see because they had a big data breach and a lot of people didn't come back to Target after their data breach, but the people came right back to Home Depot. Um, widespread data breach earlier this year affected millions of people, 56 million people, including myself. My credit card company said, you've been compromised. They wouldn't tell me who, but it was pretty obvious to Mine me. Mine too. Yours too? Mm -hmm. you know what got a new credit card. You know what stinks about that? That means you got a new credit card account. Mm -hmm. So they closed the old one and the length of your credit just shrunk. That's um, funny. I got a notice about that too from my credit reporting bureau. That's right. So um, with that said, sales grew. This is good for the U.S. economy. Home Depot is a reflection of you and I wanting our house to be nice, our home improvement. We see value in it. Um, it's a good sign that they saw all geographies do well. And uh, we had a continued run up here for uh, the down for Wall Street and the uh -huh. S&P, even with that little pullback we had, and now a warning from Carl Icahn. And I called this a loser. You, you do. Don't, okay. You don't typically see me calling the wealthiest man in New York City a loser. <laughs> 78 years old. He said, oh, we're going to get a sell-off sometime in the next three to five years. That's like the kid next to me who's five years old, picks his nose and he's going to eat his boogers. It's like a no-brainer. We always have corrections. Um, to me, this is just, <laughs> and I'm not saying the kid next to me being Mark Dan. I'm to say like the kid next to my house um calling for a correction is is like saying you know i'm gonna get a flu in the next three years it's gonna happen um so i don't think this is exactly rocket science he's not predicting a major downturn he's not telling you to go short the market but the market reacted to it like what carl icon he's always so smart we should probably sell and that's not the case okay let's talk baseball and money and a massive contract for uh we used to be you know mike stanton Giancarlo stanton uh, this is some contract it's gonna have a wide effect isn't it across baseball and probably our wallets going to a game yeah and it, the angle that i'm going to take with this is the money angle florida marlins had the worst tv ratings last year their ratings their tv contract is up in about three years so this is about the owner trying to get a more expensive tv deal um yes 325 million dollars sounds shocking it comes down to 325 million dollars over 13 years that boils boils down to 47 dollars and 56 cents a minute this guy's going to make <laughs> for the next 13 years rodriguez had the 200 $75 million deal. He was an old man. Um, Miguel Cabrera, nice contract for sure. But the point being here is he's a young superstar, and the Marlins are doing a very wise thing because they're going to get it back in TV revenue. Oh, interesting. Hey, we have a question coming in from Damon, and uh, Damon asks Rob, can dividends keep rising? Yes, no. Um, probably for the no next two years, corporate profits are at all-time highs. They're sharing that with investors, and that's the beautiful thing. If you own shares of Apple, they give you money back every 90 days saying, thank you, here's part of the profits. Dividends are sharing of the profits. We'll probably see two more years of increasing dividends. We're about three and a half years into increasing dividends right now. In 2014, we'll be another year of 10% plus being added to the pot. Um, 2015, it's expected unless things fall apart on Wall Street. Dividends are probably the best way for you, the average person at home to take advantage of the stock market over the last hundred years about 80 percent of the returns about 75 percent of the returns have been because you got dividends and reinvested them in companies so that's a very smart thing to do um, i'm a big fan of big dividends companies like disney pay you to own the company you know you're sharing in the profits so yeah we, we expect more dividends increases in the next year year and a half but yeah you know 2010 they cut dividends so it's not always guaranteed but it's nice to see hmm. all right thank you rob and if you have a question for rob post on his facebook fan page and we'll answer it here on chrome 4. Opening story, police.